Sports in Western North Dakota and Eastern Montana for the past four decades or so has been heavily influenced by the Stanton family and the Schillinger family. Today, we start a three-part series involving their influence over the region. We begin with the Stantons, and as Jeff Roberts tells us, the entire family has impacted the area in their own way. There was a three-decade stretch in Baker, Montana that kept the town, nicknamed the Friendly City, smiling. Strongly guided by the Schillingers, it all started with the Stantons. Oh, yeah, it definitely started with, with my dad. In 1980, Jim Stanton moved his family of eight, 120 miles from Circle to Baker. In an administrator's role, Jim brought a new sense and proof of success with a line of hires, including the name Schillinger, in the following years. You know, my dad put in place role models for us, you know, guys that were great people and, and coaches. With the influence of their father's groundwork, Jim Jr., Pete, Rob, and Dan paved their own way as players and coaches in the following decades. You know, I had three brothers that both went into coaching and teaching that all three of them were in the Montana High School Hall of Fame. I've seen Pete do wonderful things for many, many years, and Jim Stanton Jr., what he's done at Billing Central is unbelievable. Now Rob winning a state championship and track coach and the late Dan, what he did at Mouse City. It's just amazing to see the success that the family's had and it means a lot to me because it ties back to my hometown. Western North Dakota is no stranger to Pete. After playing at an All-American level for the Blue Hawks in the mid 80s, he came back to the Queen City to assist Hank Bijou. He also built a championship level track program in the 2000s. Just over a decade later, he took over as head football coach at his alma mater. I think the people of uh, Dickinson realize, hey, this guy, he can handle all types of uh, recruiting. He can also, his people that he brings in are quality people, got good character. And, of course, uh, with him and Hank over in uh, Dickinson, they won many championships. As a coach and athletic director, Pete continues to carry on the success that was instilled when the Stantons were students. Every play in the pads or under the headset is a learning experience, not only for him, but to help teach family friends. He's been through many battles as the head football coach, and I think that that's really important. He's been one that's been in my corner, which I really appreciate. The Stanton family's impact on Montana and North Dakota is immeasurable, a weight that the family carries with pride. It's just really neat, and people that you can ask questions to that know we're going to have the best interest for you. I, uh, I'm really, really fortunate to be connected to all of them. I really am, and I mean that. Well, the Stanton boys played in Baker about a decade before the Schillners came along, and that's the focus in part two tomorrow.